In this video I want to talk a bit about multiplication of indices. In a previous video I introduced you to what indices were and we spoke a little bit about the basics of, of powers or, or indices. In this video I want to show you how we start to apply operations to our indices. So we, we start to learn how to multiply and divide and, and add and all of those sorts of things with our indices. The first operation I want to talk about is multiplication. Um, but before I do that, I will write down, I'll give you an example of a couple of indices that I want to multiply together. So let's take 4 to the power of 3, and I want to multiply this by 4 to the power of 5. Okay, so the, the first way I want to show you is I want to show you the expansion method. So I want to expand each of these. I want to rewrite 4 to the power of 3 and 4 to the power of 5, so they're expanded. So what I mean by that is 4 to the power of 3 actually means 4 times 4 times 4. Okay, so it actually shows fully what's going on there in 4 to the power of 3. Now um, 4 to the power of 5 actually means 4 times 4 times 4 times 4 times 4. Alright, so now we've got our 4 to the power of 3 and our 4 to the power of 5 in expanded form. Now this is what we call expanded or expanded form. This is what we call index form. So when we express something in index form we would express it in this format and when we want to express something in expanded form we would express it in this format. So it's just two different ways of writing the same thing. So if uh, I go back to what 4 times 4 times 4 times 4 times 4, you know, however many times I've uh, multiplied it. And that would be, if I look at this, I've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So now I've got my same base number of 4 multiplied by itself 8 times. And we know that when we multiply a base by itself a number of times, that number of times becomes its power. So in this case, we've got 8 times that we've multiplied the 4 by each other. So this 8, that now becomes our power. So we can rewrite this 4 to the power of 3 times 4 to the power of 5 and we can simplify it to 4 to the power of 8. Now before I show you the shortcut method I'm going to give you another example. So let's start with um, 6. Let's go 6 to the power of 2 times 6 to the power of 4. Okay, um, so here we've got a different base number 6. We can rewrite each of these indices in its expanded form first. So let's go 6 to the power of 2, that's an easy one, so that's just 6 times 6. And 6 to the power of 4 becomes... 6 times 6 times 6 times 6. So now we've got both of our indices in its expanded form and again we have the same base number multiplied by itself a number of times and we've got in this case 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay so 6 times means our power is 6. Alright so we can rewrite this in simplified form to be 6 to the power of 6. Now if you go back, go back to my original and I look at my this one over here, if I look at that I look at my power and I look at the powers of the original indices before I simplified it and I look at my power here and I look at the powers of my original indices. You'll start to notice that there's a there's a pattern happening and that is if I simply add my powers together I get the final power in my simplified index so if in this case 3 plus 5 equals 8 and in this case 2 plus 4 equals 6 so we can use that concept and we can now come up with a rule and if I if I just go to another slide I'll show you what that rule is. Generally in mathematics this rule is written 
A M times A N equals A M plus N. Okay, I'll fix this little multiplication up. Now you might be looking at this thinking, what in God's name does that mean? And it really isn't as difficult as it, what it actually looks. It's quite simple. All it means is when I have two indices that are multiplied together where the base number is the same, we can actually just add the powers together. We don't have to expand and simplify. We don't have to do anything. We can just simply add the powers together. So um, if I use this formula, because this is what this is, it's a formula, and I replace my value for a, m, and n with a numerical value. So let's do that. Let's say um, a is 5. Um, M is 3 and N is 9. Okay, I could make it any value I want, but I just want to show you how we can now use this formula to help us uh, figure out how we simply multiply the indices together. So if I replace everywhere I see an A in this formula, I now replace with a value 5 because that's what I've given my A. So I've now got 5 here. My m is 3, so it is now to the power of 3. My n is 9. Okay, so now I multiply again. a is 5, and n now is 9. a is 5, and I now have 3 plus 9 in my formula. So this is basically telling me that when I have a index or two indices multiplied together in index form, I can just simplify it to my base and add my powers together. So this will be 5 to the power of 12. Okay, And it's a lot simpler to do it this way because sometimes we have really large powers and you know to expand them out would be so time consuming and take up so much room that you know it, it would just you, you wouldn't want to do it. So this is just an easy way of doing it. Um, another thing though, before I finish, is I want to show you how to do it when you have a base number that's a variable. I introduced you to um, variables in indices in my previous video as well. But what I mean by that is something like x. If I had x to the power of 3 and I multiplied by um, that by x to the power of 10, let's say. Okay, same rule applies. It's got the same base. Okay, because it's got the same base, we simply just add the powers together. So we would get x to the power of 3 plus 10, which gives me x to the power of 13. And that is what the simplified form of that would be. Now, my final thing that I want to do is I want to talk about um, indices when we multiply indices together where the we've got more than one variable in our multiplication. And what I mean by that is I'll give you an example. Let's go x to the power of 2, y to the power of 7, times x to the power of 3, y to the power of 5. Okay, so if I look at something that looks like that, now we've got a couple of indices here with different bases. And the reason why this each one of these terms is written in such a way is because you can't simplify indices when the base number is different, especially when the variable is, um, or particularly when the variable is different. So what we do in this case is we group together the variables where the base number is the same and we apply our rule for indices just for those two variables that are the same. So you'd look at x to the power of 2 and x to the power of 3 and you would add the powers of these two and then you would look at x to the power of 7 and oh, sorry y to the power of 7 and y to the power of 5 and you would add those two together so what you would end up with is x 2 plus 3 times y 7 plus 5 Okay, and what you would end up there, your final answer would be x2 plus 3 is x to the power of 5, 
And because you don't need a multiplication between variables, you don't need to show that multiplication between variables, what I'll do is I will um, put these together and that will be y to the power of 12. So that's your final answer for that. You can't simplify any further because the base is the same. So basically you are grouping together the variables that are the same and you're only adding those powers. So you'll end up with an answer that's got a couple of different letters with the powers on top and that's fine. So that's how you multiply variable. That's how you multiply indices where we have variables. Remember this is your law for indices um, when you multiply them. So always apply that law and you can't go wrong.